Hey guys, it's operations time. We're gonna have some fun here. Take the Dash 9 out, do a little local switching with it. Why not? What the heck, let's get her fired up over here. Gonna try to keep this video a little bit short because, uh, you know, I just uh, finished complaining on like the last video about how I don't have time to watch everybody else's videos, but uh, I make like 20 minute, 30 minute videos. So this is gonna be a quick one here. Let's get all our lights on here. Wave goodbye to uh, Engineer Rick here. Whoa! Bring the new guy in there. Doesn't know which way to go. Here we got Engineer Rick here waving goodbye with uh, Benjamin the dog. And uh, looks like he's hanging out there with uh, Mr. Torres. We've got uh, Mr. Uh, Lamont Sanford there up front. Like I said, this is going to be a quick uh, little run out there. We're just uh, doing some drop-offs. You can see that tank car in the background and the two box cars right there. I'm going to take them down to uh, Cerritos and, uh, and I guess the corner of Anaheim. Do a couple drop offs there at uh, what is that? Uh, Shasta Beverage. And if you see the building there in the background, it looks a little bit uh, more colorful because I ended up painting it. Same thing with the little garage right over here. I actually did a video on it, but it was so boring. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll tack it on to the end of this video if anybody's that interested in uh, watching somebody spray paint a little building. I figured I'd do a how-to video, but uh, like I said, it was kind of boring. back up over here grab uh, grab our cars that first tank car is a uh, syrup car it's gonna go into Shasta beverage and then I think the uh, the other two box cars are going into Royal plywood Ooh, nice connection right there all right Get ready to roll out of here. We get the uh, get the headlights on bright. Get the dish lights on. Brakes off. Looks like we got all our cars. Let's get out of here. Going by our uh, freshly painted uh, little office there in the background. We'll cut these guys going into the layout. Dash 9 looks nice. So I normally run uh, two locomotives, but uh, figured what the heck. This time around we'll just take the Dash 9 out see how she does. Alright, first stop over here. Gotta get our turnouts done right there and right here to head down into the interior. I just love the sound of that thing. right there. And so, like I said, this is going to be a pretty quick little op session right here. Pretty easy. Just a quick run around over here on the interior of the layout. And we're dropping off cars, not picking anything up, so... We're going to be leaving this guy right here at uh, Royal Plywood and just dropping off the other two box cars. Well, let's see, right there is good. Oh, looking nice. Sounding nice, 
too, huh? We're going to disconnect over here, do our run around on the track in the foreground. If I can uh, get them disconnected. for a little bit here. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's a Friday afternoon. Of course, the video is going to be a little bit late. As usual, I try to get them out before noon Eastern time. It's like uh, 9 a.m. here. But, uh, you know, the usual excuses. Too busy working, doing all that stuff. And we'll run down to this end here. Get back behind our train. And we just uh, do all our drop-offs here. It's looking so nice. There we go. So far, so good. I wasn't sure if I'd have any trouble on the track over here because uh, I have not cleaned the track in, uh, I don't know, a long, long, long time. I do use uh, that uh, Noox stuff on my track here and it seems to have uh, helped on most of the uh, little trouble spots. At least for cleaning wise, I uh, basically just maybe wipe down the track every once in a while. All right, about the, what do we got here? Half a car to go. Looking good right there. All right, so next up, I'm gonna assume we got another conductor or a brakeman or something over here. We're gonna shove our uh, shove our little syrup car into uh, Shasta Beverage. Always fun watching a Dash 9 doing switching. Just a little bit more to go here. We're actually going to drop him off at the, uh, the last door over here. Ooh, right there. Right there's good. All right, now I gotta find uh, find my pick. We'll get disconnected here and uh, do the other two drop offs. There we go, looking good. Sorry for the swinging around here. As always, need another arm.
Now, before we get into our uh, lead over here, we're gonna go ahead and stop. We gotta find our, uh, we gotta find Carl. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, change that over. Find Carl, our uh, industry rep here, because we got a blue flag over there. He's got to get rid of that thing. And I switched that over, so we just go back up the uh, the main line there. somewhere and of course honk for the weirdos right there is good right there is good I think I gotta wipe down the track over here. Speaking of dirty track, I can hear the wheels kinda crunching on dust and everything else. Just a little bit farther there, we'll connect up all these cars. A little safety stop, and looking good right there. I think uh, just a little bit, we're gonna push forward just a tad, so the doorway is uh, on the platform there. There we go. That looks good. Like I said, no pickups today. Just doing drop-offs here. And then uh, we'll head back home. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little operating session here with the Athern Genesis Dash 9. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell button to get notified. So you don't miss out any videos. We end up like this vagrant over here. Alright, like I said, I'm going to try to keep this video short, so that's it for today. Like I said, hope you enjoy that, and uh, as we make our way back home, have a good weekend. See you next time.